everyone welcome back to lucky by nature angelic vixen here so this is an announcement video of what's coming to the channel so we have a lot of really great exciting stuff planned um, and we are staying true blue to our arc fans so we are going to have two series for arc and then we will be throwing in additional games um, but we honor our arc subs because that's pretty much our fan base and we don't want to let you guys down however you might find some of our other games interesting and that might be something that you'll want to look into um in future episodes but the first series that's coming to the channel is a breeding series so i am going to be explaining and it's just going to be me doing the breeding series um beast might pop in from time to time but that's the one I'm going to be focusing on. I've never had the opportunity to just focus on something that I am truly passionate about. And I want to teach you guys everything that I know and then come together as a community. If I don't know something, you guys can help me out. I love that about our community because we really do help each other. So if you're interested in breeding and want to learn a lot of information about breeding, and then we are breeding for mutations, not just color, but for stats as well. Some of them are going to be duds. Some of them are are not going to be duds but that just is part of the process with breeding and I'm so excited to be able to do this because I've wanted the opportunity to help a lot of especially newer people to ARC that don't know a lot about breeding it's actually a lot of fun and it's it gets really interesting and I just really I can't wait to share this with you so I'm very excited about it um, I am going to be playing on Xbox the reason I have chosen to do that on our server on Xbox is so that way I basically go through your struggles you know, I don't have Structures Plus that, are, you know, is going to make it so much easier for me. I'm going to have to put in the work and you guys are going to come along with me. You know, one of the things about us is we try really, really hard to, you know, not clickbait, do everything authentic because we came from official. Like when we first started, we came from official. So we know the pain, the grind, like we respect that because we suffered. We suffered because we started playing back when the stats were even harder and the rates were lower and the max level dino was 120. I mean, it was hard, but you know what? That shaped us. And that is why we wanna constantly try to honor our subs and our, cause you guys, a lot of you play official. And let me tell you what, it's hard. So I have decided to do it on our Xbox server. And the benefit to that is if you play on our PVE Xbox servers, which we have PVE, um, we have Extinction, we have Aberration, and we have Ragnarok for both PVE and PVP. I will be making an announcement about the servers as well. But on PVE, if you guys play on the server and want to utilize this breeding opportunity, I am very happy to schedule times where you can bring your diner, dinos over to me. We will breed and you can have the egg. I mean, I am... I'm totally excited because I feel like this is going to be a community thing. We are going to just have so much fun. And I've already talked to uh, two people from the server and they were like really excited because they're like, I have some great dinos with some great stats. We are going to breed every single dino I can possibly breed. And we're going to try to get the max best stats utterly possible. And again, I want to come together as a community because to me, that is one of the best things about, you know, Lucky Nation is we are like a family. We really are. So that is series one. That should be starting this week. Series two for ARC is going to be called Helena's Path. This one is going to be Beast. Beast is soloing the ARC. Now, this is not a new concept series. There's a lot of people doing this. There is a person who's actually been doing it for over a year. However, we're not focusing solely on, you know, soloing the ARC. We are going to focus on the notes and basically that's going to drive the series and then we're going to see what it will take to solo the entire from beginning to end so that's the island scorched earth then aberration and then extinction i have no idea how long it's going to take but beast is literally one of the best players i've ever seen i mean i i don't play as good as him and i admire his determination and diligence to this game and he is going to be doing it authentic and one of the things that i want you guys to focus on because we try so hard to do everything utterly possible to have it in sync with what you guys experience how you can tell if a person is being authentic is look at the days in the game okay that is the key component so if a person says i'm gonna cut and i'm gonna go do this and i'll come back and then they have let's say you know 20 more dinos we'll look at the days if the game days have gone by they're doing it authentic if the game days haven't gone by 
they're not doing it authentic. And that is one thing that Beast wants you guys to focus on because he wants to honor our ARC subs and you will be able to see that he's doing things legit. And it's not easy, the, especially the island. Getting decent quality dinos takes freaking forever. But we are trying everything in our power to give you a series that really shows what it's like to be a solo ARC player from the beginning to the end because it's not going to be easy especially when you fight bosses and stuff trying to do it solo that is something that we've always focused on on how to do that because we were always you know just me and him primarily you know beast because he actually did a lot of the work himself and i would do like a lot of the grindy stuff you know like resources and stuff like that but these are all things that i want you to keep in mind oh man i gotta get that trike holy moly I'm going to be back up here to get that trike. That's a 150 trike. I love Ragnarok for that reason, <laughs> which is why I'm doing the breeding series on Ragnarok because my chances of getting high-level dinos to actually breed for the best stats are on Ragnarok. Um, but again, the series is not a new concept, but we are going to be doing it entirely different than anything like that person who's been doing it over a year. Um, we're doing it very different because we are focusing on the notes and we will be in the video talking about the notes. So um, right now we're gearing it toward the end of each video. So if you're curious as to what we mean by that, you know, just be sure to watch the video from the beginning to the end. And if you don't want to watch the whole video, just fast forward so you can kind of get the idea and the concept. Looks like I'm coming up here to get that Bronto too, because I need another Bronto. Man, it's a good day in Ragnarok. Um, so again, we are focusing on those two for arc right now and we will be doing additional series for arc in time we're just basically trying to incorporate all this stuff and you know transition out of what we just did when we finished extinction now we also will be adding different survival games different survival games means it will be very specific in the thumbnail you will see the logo you will know because we will list it i don't want you to feel like you have to watch every single thing we put up it may not interest you that's why i actually handle all of the uploads and i will make sure it is specific so that way you do not have to click on something you don't want to see we are doing atlas because we got servers we have four servers that we combined to get all of the good stuff for atlas once we get in there and we really learn every single thing utterly possible with atlas which we have already been playing um, i will be doing tutorials on that and so will beast um, so that way you can maximize you know your efforts and get the best possible everything out of atlas because it's much different in some stuff than arc and so to be successful you have to know all those components so that's something that's coming we also have additional games in mind that we will be adding those will be ventures likely for me and Beast together. So if you guys like us together, you will see us together in Atlas and other future, you know, survival games. We are going to be doing a lot more gaming news and that's not just me, that will be Beast as well. We're going to tag team that project because there's a lot of news about ARK, Atlas and other survival games. As you guys know, Hytale was something that Beast actually did a video on. Hytale is something coming that actually has a great deal of potential and will likely be even better or at least comparable to Minecraft but the quality of the graphics I think are pretty freaking incredible um, now let's talk about the servers because that's something that a lot of people have asked about we haven't been on discord much because I've been working tirelessly on the on these projects getting them ready the servers PVE will not reset at least not for a very long time PVP will reset possibly, I don't have a date, possibly within the next few weeks. Right now, our PVPers are finishing the, um, they're doing boss fights. They're going to finish it out and they're going to, because that's basically what they're breeding for right now is to try to finish the bosses and, you know, have that experience because a lot of PVPers don't get that experience because, you know, they're constantly fighting and losing everything. But they will be reset and we are going to do something really fun the guys, um, my admins, and I mean, just some incredible people, our friends play on the servers and they came up with some really cool ideas like server against server. Basically, you can't transfer and then all of a sudden I open it up and then you guys can just go at it. It gives you guys a lot of time to actually build up and then, you know, all of these cool things. So that is coming for the servers. So again, PVE will not reset. If you guys are looking to play on PVE servers where most people are very friendly, 
This is a great place to come and play, which is the LBN servers. You just go into Xbox, type in Lucky by Nature, and you're gonna find all the servers. I will do an announcement when it's time for the reset for PVP, and we hope to see you guys in there because it should be a lot of fun. You know, especially if we decide to go with the server against server. Basically, you pick your server and that's your server. And yeah, it's gonna get crazy. Once we open up those servers and they can actually go to each other, whew, it's gonna be awesome. Like, I'm really excited and we might be in there. So I don't know yet. It's very likely, or I will be at least hanging out with my friends and you know, we will get some footage from the server. But PVP is gonna be lit, you know, but right now I'm just letting them finish it out. Um, the last thing that I wanna share is thank you so much to all the new subs that we've got. We have got so many new subs. You guys are so amazing to show the support and the dedication. I mean, we truly appreciate it. We could not do this without you and we are so thankful and so grateful. And then the other thing that I wanna share is to our patrons. Oh my goodness, you guys are so amazing. We could not do this without you. And every single dollar that you guys give us on Patreon goes right back into the channel, into the servers. We are, you know, learning new things. We are expanding our horizons. We are, you know, there's so much in the background that you guys don't know that every single dollar you give us goes right back into Lucky for you guys. Like we are trying so hard to bring good quality, best quality experiences, you know, let's play tutorials news you name it and you guys are making that possible so to our patrons we truly truly appreciate you we could not do this without you and we are so grateful so thank you so much for all the support i mean there's days where i'm just like i your generosity is just so profound and so amazing so thank you but that's it for this video and this announcement um if you have questions or comments be sure to put them in the you know comment section you can start to expect all of this stuff to come in this week. We have so much planned. I am so excited. But yes, so this environment is going to be cleaned up here. I pulled all of this stuff out of the pods from Extinction when we closed down um, our base on Extinction. We brought everything over and right now it's a cluster in here. I got to get this cleared out because this is where I'm going to be doing all my breeding. But that's it for this video. And until next time, you know what it is. Love you guys and keep surviving. My work saved the human race.